Whether we play next week or the week after that, we guaranteed ourselves during the pandemic, the crisis, all the adversity that stacked on us, we guaranteed ourselves to win the season. That's a testament to our coaches, the program, and the players, and their parents. You don't, you don't be a consistent program and all the pieces don't go together. And I'm proud of these guys because all the adversity that you've been through, all the adversity that families have been through, to keep playing in the spring, keep trying to do the right thing. I take my hat off to them. You can say a lot of things about me. You can say a lot of things about self university. But what you can't say about today is that we need first place. Coach, you, you know, this is the first time that someone's played on ESPN. When you get a chance to showcase some of your biggest and the best stars, what is it like to see Jordan Lewis showcase why he's one of the best players in the strike? I think we got a chance to showcase everybody why we got a good program. I think we got a chance to see why we're from the Southern University. I'm going to watch the TV clock. I'm going to hear what the commentators have to say. Why not suck? We've been good. Now the world got a chance to see it. We're a good football program. We're a good institution. And I'm about building it. And that's what I try to tell. I said, guys, why we took a knee at the end? I said, because I'm about character. And I'm going to hold you to the hospital. But when you down, as an African American man, I don't want to score on you for life. So I try to build you back up. That team was getting beat. I'm not going to bury you. Those are somebody's children, too. I've been on the other side. I know how they feel. And I take my hat off to them going forward if they continue to get their program up to point. I said, today wasn't their day. But we have to think about that when we mentor them. And I'm proud to be the mentor of the young man here at Southern University. What were some of the words throughout this week and how did you challenge those guys really contained the Jackson? They're a good football team. Y'all know the numbers. Quarterback, six, nine, running back. As I tell people all the time, I, I heard this, I heard somebody say something. All lawyers sound good to the cross examination today. I believe that. All teams are good. To the cross examination begin. Our cross examination happens with UAPB. What you do from there? Roll your sleeves up and get done. Go to work. But we've been down before. I've been in this pool. And when you've been in it, you know how to create success out of it. Guys, that's a testament to wisdom, knowledge, and concern. You don't just get that. You don't just wake up and have it. But those are, those are characteristics that I think I'm blessed with. And I lean on. I staff lean on. I lean on Wednesday's chapter. I believe that. I told him he was going to score seven. He was going to get the onside kick and he should be up 14. The problem is they didn't believe it. And I told him that it had to be. But we executed and we played well as a team. All the credit goes to our assistant coaches and our players. What, what you know, led you to want to go, at, go do the onside kick after the first touchdown? It's up. Uh, coach, uh, how big was that touchdown after the right before half time? Just go into the breakaway of the momentum back to the second. Well, normally I'm a reserve guy. I'm a reserve guy. But they have played so many plays in the first half. And I got the play count. I was like, let's go answer. Got 45 seconds. Had the ball in good field position. Plays with everybody. And I thought John came in, executed that drive, led us to a touchdown. We, we, didn't, we didn't bench the Bears. We had plans for both of them playing. So I thought both of them were going to do that. Other than the two interceptions, I, I, thought, really, I thought the Bears were going to do So we had weapons. We tried to do the last time. Well, that was a question I wasn't going to ask. It caused the Bears going out of the game again. We talked about cross examination. How did he do in that aspect today? Great, man. Great, man. I told him I was proud of him. Because that's the steps to you. I'm proud of him. I always say, the way you play against teams that have high power offense is run the ball, control the clock, limit time of possession, and 
No defense is fresh in the court. We stayed fresh pretty much the whole night. We played with it. And I'm going to lean on that right now. I just think that's, I'm a defensive guy. Those defensive coaches on the line call. But it is a tilt shot there in the passing game. They turn the ball. I always play And we made it. So we're not just going to pound the ball. You got to feel a lot when you're trying to play against the Jags. Coach Rossi did an outstanding job in all that's it, guys. After this one. What do you kind of talk about this program and how he's kind of working so far? You really don't know. All you do is here. You do everything here. We need. I do believe in my work. That's something important because I know what's going on inside. I don't get into all that stuff that's going on around. I try to focus on something and make the box program stay at the top and be a contender every year. If you focus on that, you're not trying to do it. All right, coach. Thank you. You got us. Defense very well. We had a great game plan, and my guys executed it. And when you do that, you give yourself a chance. I thought offense, defense, and special teams, we executed the game plan. And that's a testament to our coaches. All right, guys, thank you. Thank you.